and welcome to Just Event Online Weekend News. I am Anifat Ismail, First News Headlines. Tinobu seeks change in military strategy to confront unconventional forces. Nigerian farmers call for security to make food available. Fed government approves 19 managers for host communities fund. Student group threatens mass protest over tuition hike. I need to review collation returning officer recruitment, Yakubu says. FEMA on high alert over anticipated downpour on Sunday. 2026 World Cup fans confident of Super Eagles qualification. Now the news in details. President Bola Tinobu yesterday in Kaduna State said Nigeria and the neighboring countries in the Lake Chad region must display courage in reforming their military doctrine and practices. The president noted that the change in tactics had become necessary because the countries in the region are battling a mobile and elusive irregular force that disregards established rules of warfare. Speaking at the graduation ceremony of Senior Course 45 of the Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji, the president pointed out that the adversaries facing countries in the sub-region are not conventional armies engaging in traditional battlefield warfare. Nigerian farmers on Saturday called on the federal government to provide security, affordable farm inputs like seeds, insecticides, herbicides, and fertilizers to boost food production. Mr. Kabir Ibrahim, president of All Farmers Association of Nigeria, said farmers needed some level of mechanization. He said insecurity prevented farmers from going to the farm, adding that farmers needed a sense of security alongside other requirements to enable them to put in more work in the farms. Kabir advised that what technology incubation centers across the country were able to produce should be boosted to facilitate indigenous technologies which could be applied in agriculture. The federal government has approved 19 fund managers to manage the finances provided by oil and gas companies for their various host communities development trust. The federal government gave the approval for the fund managers through the Nigerian Upstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, adding that more companies would be approved in due course. Following the recent hike in tuition fees in tertiary institutions and government schools, the National Association of University Students has threatened to embark on a mass protest against recent hike in tuition fees in the country. This was disclosed in a statement titled Warning Against Tuition Fee Increment on Saturday, signed by the NAUS Chairman and National Deputy President Erubami, Ajobami, and Babalola Daniel, respectively. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has sourced the inputs of coalition and returning offices in its determination to review the recruitment, training, and posting of such officers in subsequent elections. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, also said the results management system will be reviewed following some Nigerians' complaints about the system deployed in the 2023 general elections. Speaking during the post-election review meeting with coalition and returning officers in Abuja on Friday, the chairman stated that the commission would access its strengths and weaknesses so that the results management system could be improved. The Federal Capital Territory Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, has placed its emergency response team on high alert over an anticipated heavy 
to moderate rainfall on Sunday, Director General of the Agency, Dr. Abbas Idris, stated in a statement signed by the agency's head of public affairs, Ms. Inkechi Isa, in Abuja on Friday. Idris said that a weather forecast by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMED, had indicated that FCT and its neighboring states would experience heavy to moderate rainfall on Sunday. The last on the news is sport. Football fans in the Federal Capital Territory said they are confident that the Super Eagles would qualify for the 2026 FIFA World Cup from the African zone. The fans who spoke with journalists on Friday in Abuja said the team has the quality to qualify for the Mundial. Welcome to the end of Joss event online weekend news. Here's a recap of the story. Tinobu seeks change in military strategy to confront unconventional forces. Nigerian farmers call for security to make food available. Federal government approves 19 managers for host communities fund. Student group threatens mass protest over tuition hike. Annex to review collection returning officers' recruitment, says Yakubu. Firm on high alerts over anticipated downpour on Sunday and on sports. 2026 World Cup fans confident of Super Eagles qualification. Thank you for watching Joss Event Online News. Remember, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with the tab at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on Just Event Online at gmail.com. I am Anifat Ismail. To have a good night rest.